pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Survival of No Limits, once again. So, yeah, first of all, there certainly has been a lot of changes that I've been trying to bring here to the channel, and I gotta say, most of the things that I've been doing here have been a bit practical, but now is the time that I try to steer away from some of that stuff, and instead make a great attempt to try something different. In the coming week, you will be seeing a lot more material of Survival of No Limits within this very environment. And yeah, of course, this thing's certainly going to be keeping me busy throughout the next several months. I tell you, 2021 has already been quite busy with all the new series that I've been putting through, all the new adaptations that I have been attempting to bring together to the channel once and for all then just wait, because there really is going to be much more than even I bargained for. So, first of all, this very outfit right here is very much going to be reminiscent to that of my next feature film project, which I'm currently finishing up on, In Hospitality, coming soon on March 25th, 2021. So, that right there is what you need to know about what all this is going to be like. But, in all seriousness, there really has been quite a lot of new developments on the weather and the like. It really is just proof that climate change has really been quite a big upbringing in today's society. Of course, you have the many things that we've talked about already. Like the wildfires causing the sky to turn just bright red out there in the southwest. And then in places like Texas and the like, the deep south is where snow really is starting to pick up gradually and then of course you have many other things down the line but just to avoid getting off track I'm gonna go on ahead and just go out on a limb by saying that the next week is gonna be full of some new ideas and topics for me to talk about here in Survival of No Limits so let's just get started on that as soon as we can episode 21 yeah and for the record, I have no idea what's going to be going on here from here on out. So just expect some things to happen, some things to not happen. But for episode 21, we have chemical exposure. And I'm just going to go on a record to clarify really quickly that while I've already hinted a lot of things out there, including poisonous gases and the types of, well epidemics that have been crossing paths with us in recent years. None has been so significant throughout history as chemical exposure. We of course have had lots of things happen in the past, but if you've seen on a lot of different sources and types of media that we've had throughout the last few decades, then one that is very prominent throughout most of our history would be the type of exposure to certain agents and certain chemicals out there that have at first thought to be benign. But it turns out that was not true. Instead, it turns out to be very lethal and very harmful to the human body in many ways possible. Of course, I can give out quite a few hints about why this is supposedly a pretty necessary portion of the whole thing, but I'm just going to go and suggest... That this is in fact something I might as well take up right about now because there really has been a lot taking place in recent years. Chemical exposure, however, has not necessarily been as relevant because of the, the high-end safety regulations that have been thoroughly administered throughout the most recent of our time. As recent as some things may be, we haven't really looked onto how dangerous most chemicals and substances may be inorganic or organic. I have of course talked quite a bit about how certain smells might become very bad. Not just by, well, a presentable standpoint, but also because of how it can in fact affect one's health. The types of gases, the types of creatures, the types of things that have come around, none of which have been as dangerous as chemical exposure. And that's simply because, while it may not be something that may naturally come out from most animals and the like, the types of mixtures that us, 
humans have performed. They have in fact proven to be some of the most lethal that you could ever put together. Some of the most deadly concoctions that you might ever have the chance of putting together. I've of course mentioned some substances out there like mustard gas, sodium azide, and quite a few other things out there that not many people might know about. But in today's generation we are in fact trying to ensure that education is a top priority because of all the things that we've been encountering in more recent years. So of course that's pretty much just why I've come around here to mention some of this stuff but going back to chemical exposure depending on the substance that it is if it's an acid if it's a random mixture if it's volatile or not volatile if it's something that is in fact highly potent or otherwise then you can very much expect it to be very dangerous there's lots of substances out there that might seem like they're harmless but many times they aren't and it's for a good reason it's because of the types of agents and chemicals and bondings and add-ons that are usually put into the mixture. So of course that's just one way that you can look at it but most of the time I will say that there's definitely been a lot of cases throughout history that have allowed us to analyze much deeper into this sort of territory to help us venture a little bit further into the unknown just so we don't have to ever go back to such a point in time where we weren't as careful about our labs as we used to be. But nowadays we do in fact try to do the best we can to keep this top notch, top end priority, number one, and of course the high end stakes that someone might put together. I know I'm just going a little bit off track here, but that's just so I can ensure that nowadays we're doing what we possibly can do to ensure that we will not have this sort of danger threaten our lives anymore. So, that is pretty much going to conclude that point, and I really got to say, it felt great coming out here in the open, where all the cold is certainly going to be coming in the next few weeks. And I will say, lots of things are going to be happening here in Survival of No Limits. Lots of new location ideas have pretty much been put together, and I just can't wait for them to all come together with me knowing that I'm going to have a lot more to talk about from here on out. As long as this thing remains a big part of the series, I know that I'm going to be doing pretty good. Of course, I've also been trying my best to work ahead just in case I might encounter some delays, including power outages or surprise vacation, because normally I've been pretty much setting aside my work just to go on vacations and whatnot, or other trips otherwise specified but otherwise that's pretty much going to cut it for today but if you want to see more go down to my channel then make sure that you like subscribe comment follow me on social media and stay on the hollywood side